So I'm going to do a small demo of a productivity tool uh, called Java Rebel. Uh, it's a commercial product, but I find it really useful, so I hope uh, you'll see that as well. Uh, I'm doing it in Scala, uh, well, because I like Scala, because it works with Scala, and because it's I'm currently free for Scala to go. So. Uh, <clears throat> this is just like really, really simple Scala uh, starting up a frame. Um, and what it does is it has a button and it's, yeah, well, I can start up in an instant. <coughs> so what happens is very sexy, right? <laughs> uh, Java Rebel is a bootstrapping mechanism with a VM, so it says that it started right here. So all it does now is say clicked. As the function says here. So let's do something a little bit more useful. Right. It says pop up dialog, so that's what I want to do. And it pops up a dialog. Now, if you see down here, it says that Java Rebel is now reloading the classes for me. Uh, this is not probably not as um, uh, impressive because you can do this with hot, hot swap as well. The thing is that I'm not connected. To, to the G, uh, to the JVM with a uh, debugging session, so this is done uh, in kind of like offline mode. So close that. <coughs> so so that I want to refactor this app um, into a separate class, uh, and since this is Scala, I can define several classes in the same source file. So, same, right? Well, not exactly. <coughs> if we look at the code, it's now uh, set location relative to this, which is the dialog itself, so that's not very useful. Uh, so let's set it uh, relative to the frame it was, uh, I want to position it against. So I create a constructor. Put frame in the set card. Oh, thank you. Yes. Well, good thing I have Java Rebel, so I don't have to be <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, with Java Rebel, you can uh, change methods, you can uh, add constructors, you can um, well, add fields and remove fields, you can add methods, remove methods, you can add classes, remove classes, uh, probably said that. You can add annotations and remove annotations. Uh, now one thing you cannot do is change type hierarchy. So say that, uh, just for the sake of it, let this uh, implement uh, no, sorry, Scala. <laughs> oh, if I try to run it now, you'll see that Java complains that uh, implements new interfaces and could not be reloaded. So at this point, I would have to restart the app. Right. So uh, it's a commercial product. Um, and <clears throat> what I want to say about it is that if you have like a non-standard type of build or setup or run your server, uh, it can be a pain to set up. But in the end, you will save a lot of time <coughs> setting this up correctly. Um, just checking things that takes like five minutes to start up is ridiculously a waste of time. So, in my opinion, it's a good investment in developer productivity. So, that's it.